everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and it's Tuesday, July 29th, 2025, and I'm showing you the Red Sea Rift. It's a mid-ocean ridge between the African Plate and the Arabian Plate, which stretches from the Dead Sea Transform to the Afar Triple Junction, which I got drawn out in blue here. And this is an ultra-slow spreading rift, active since the Oocene period, and hosts submarine volcanoes, basalt dikes, and hydrothermal vents with recent seismic swarms near Ferrison and its islands. Uh, they're considered coral islands. Let me bring this down because here we have an area where there is undersea volcanoes under the Red Sea Rift. I find that just fascinating. It's crazy. But this recent swarm of a 5.1 to a 4.7 and a 4.3, five earthquakes all together, indicate the volatility that's going on with the Red Sea Rift. At 3.04 p.m. local time, there was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake, followed by four 4.3s and a 4.4 tremor. They were offshore of Ferrison and spared Ferrison 17,000 residents of damage, and there was no tsunami. But the Red Sea Rift is splitting. The African and Arabian plates tells us a deeper story. The Ferrison Island is a marine sanctuary. It is home to the Arabian gazelle and, in winter, migratory birds from Europe, oceanic animals including the Monterey, uh, whale sharks, and several species of sea turtles including endangered and critically endangered green and hawk-billed turtles. There's also several species of dolphins and whales, with occasional visits by others, such as orcas. This recent swarm of earthquakes along the strike-slip fault of the Red Sea Rift axle um, is potentially tied to magma movement beneath the sediment-covered volcanic zones. Uh, lately, there's been no volcanic um, activity being reported, but would they tell us? That's a question. Do you think if there was volcanic activity there in the Red Sea that they would actually tell us? Let me know what you think. The Hader Bunt Deep in 2002 surveys revealed volcanic craters in Ephesus beneath the Miocene salt and sediment, which formed a deep sea explosive volcanism and or caldera collapses. The Hader Bunt Mons is a 530 meter high submarine volcano shows recent activity from seismic signatures we also have the Huber volcanic region right down here Huber archipelago now this is considered the uh, southern red sea there was eruptions in this location in 2007 2011 and 2013 which formed new islands um, in 2011 and 2012, it created a half a mile wide island that ceased growing back in 2012. They never talked about islands being created in the Red Sea. We hear about, you know, the mariner traffic. We hear about the conflicts, but nothing about eruptions being reported. In 2007, there was an eruption here that actually killed seven soldiers that were on the island or close to that location. Just like Yellowstone's rumors of the animals leaving or Macquarie's 6.9 earthquake, these recent Ferrison earthquakes do spark fear. Let me go back up over there where they're occurring. Yeah, you can see areas where there's collapsed um, volcanoes in that location. The Saudi Geological Survey monitors with 12 seismometers, but the Red Sea is 4.8, and the uh, 4.7s and 4.3. Uh, yeah, does that mean there, there's bigger threats coming? There is a threat of a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake, possibly every 60 years, and it could strike this 
area and could it waken up volcanoes? I don't know. Actually, when you look at the map here and you see all these darkened area, uh, these are ancient lava flows. Here we got 1941, a magnitude 6.5. And then further up north, let me bring this out here. Here we got, um, yeah, the other undersea volcano right here. And then we got some other lava flows and dike intrusions up over here. And this area has been highly seismically active, showing uh, magma on the move under the ground. Look at that. Look at the uh, uh, lava flows that are in this location. You know, we think of Saudi Arabia. We think of endless sands and dunes and camels and sheiks. And, you know, then, of course, the conflicts that's been going on. Uh, but we don't think about volcanism. Have you? Do you ever? Now, the Red Sea Rift there by Ferrison is only supposed to have about four to five earthquakes per year. Per year. And here they had them all within one single day. The strongest earthquake in this location was back in 2013, July 8th. was a magnitude 5.5. But I do have on here a 5.0. Now, that occurred in 2023 on September 13th but there's also this other one that occurred in 1941 that was a magnitude 6.5 here's some mind-bending information Saudi Arabia stretches over 2,000 supposed dormant volcanoes yeah um, and we know now since Mount St. Helens erupted there is no such thing as a dormant volcano to show you that volcanism isn't uh, yeah, dormant. Up over here, let me go back over here to this volcanic center. Since 2007, there's been over 33,000 earthquakes that have been reported and recorded. These are all basalt lava flows, and it's considered uh, located in the western Saudi Arabia, northwest of Yambu. Now, we do know that new research shows that they can actually create earthquakes is someone possibly trying to cause another volcanic eruption in this location can ferrison dodge a volcanic quake you know we can always check on sgs.gov.sa uh, for alerts or follow usgs for updates um, but i was surprised to see this earthquake listed under usgs you know please subscribe for more disaster breakdowns and watch my Yellowstone rumor uh, video and my video about the Macquarie quake um, south of Australia and Tas Tasmania yeah we should be alert and watch the chaos that is unfolding that is escalating uh, yeah don't ignore this rift thank you for watching please like please share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.